Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my controller collection series, and today we're going to be talking about the 3DO and the Atari. Hey, so as a collector, guys, I actually have a bit of a problem. Uh, I, I really do love collecting multiple controllers for systems. It's just the way that I am. I love being able to have enough controllers for all of my friends to play on a system. I love being able to have eight controllers if the system, contro uh, if the system actually supports eight players. Uh, if it supports two players, then I really just want two controllers. But I also like multiple versions of controllers, and I love arcade sticks, and I love light guns, and everything else, and that, that begins to add up. And um, you know, this is mainly just a series about what I have inside of my collection, and all of the uh, light guns, and, for, and controllers, and stuff like that for the systems, and just you know, going over uh, exactly what the controller is, how many buttons, um, some of the issues that I might have had with them, you know, stuff like that. And hopefully this will help you guys go through and collect some of the controllers on your own. First up we have is the Panasonic 3DO controller. It has three buttons on the front face, two on the, uh, the top right here, a D-pad that is a little bit lackluster, uh, and then the pause and select, it has a volume control. It has a earphone jack. It's a fairly long cord with that kind of connector. And this is how player two connects in. So they'll take this connector and they will... Oops connect in like that and daisy chain down <clears throat> that's it for the 3do controller here we have the 3do light gun and it is the same connector there's no proprietary connector for it at all it's fashioned after some of the lethal enforcer weapons there is a micro switch here and a, another switch right here it is your basic light gun with a lens on the front. Um, the hammer does not work or anything like that. And this is a... This right here. This is an Atari 2600 joystick. It has uh, some micro switches for four directions, one button. Fairly simple controller. It's basically the this is a connector right here this is one of the ones that started it all these boots are actually can get um, a little bit dirty or sticky as you can see as I haven't really cleaned mine unfortunately but that's it that's the 2600 controller this is my Atari 52 one of my Atari 5200 controllers has two buttons on each side that do the same thing has the number pad as uh, 1 through 0 or 1 through 10 essentially and then the star and the hash mark uh, there's also a start pause and reset um, the thing with these is that they do not automatically recenter they only recenter because of the the rubber boot on them uh, this has one of the first different connectors for Atari and it's just this larger one right here that makes it incompatible. These things are uh, notoriously bad for <clears throat> oxidizing uh, their electric connectors. And um, finding one that works is actually a chore. And there are some mods out there that you can do. It's a fairly short cable. But other than that, that is the Atari 5200 controller. Or the paddles. So... These are the tennis paddles. They basically just all run into one connector. They both Y into it right here. Same kind of connector. 
and grab one of these and you'll notice that it can that it has a stop it's one button but that's it now the different one is the driving controller it spins and spins and spins and it doesn't stop ever and it has the same kind of connector, same kind of style button, but it's only one, and it's labeled driving, and it spins forever. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.